your breath, the ha that you breathe, carrying the life of love from the source. And I'm not just talking about the sun. The creator created the universe. You remember back in Genesis 1-1 and 1-2, you had God and the water, and then the words were spoken, and those words, let there be light, resonated like the Holy Spirit into the water, hovered over the face of the water, the Holy Spirit does, and Genesis 1-2 divides the water from the water into which this dome or firmament, this frequency of energy of let there be light resonated, and then out popped the sun. So from God's heart directly to your breath and into your heart, because that's what the heart does, doesn't it? It pumps oxygen. It pumps that Holy Spirit powerful prana, that ha, that breath of life, throughout your body your Holy Spirit-filled temple. <laughs> you know, and what's the name of God? yod hey vav hey in Hebrew, what does it mean? Yehovah literally translated means to breathe is to exist. So God and the breath and love and creation and sustainability and health and healing miraculously has everything to do with 528 love and the air that you're currently breathing. If you're not getting enough air in your body, if you're not exercising enough, if you're not drinking enough water, which is the source of the ha, the oxygen, because universal water, universal solvent, solving all pollution, it does miraculously. We need to honor it, as Dr. Emoto says, as though it is conscious. In fact, it is my premise that it is the part of the triune God that gives us the oxygen of life, the ha, the breath of life. That is the meaning of the Creator's name. So this beautiful concept of retuning your instruments and your voices and making music and listening and enjoying music played in this most profound, uplifting, and healing energy of love is what's available at 528records.com and 528radio.com. On 528records, you can tune and retune uh, or transpose, that is, your music. So if you like everything from classical music to hip-hop or jazz or blues, whatever, you can transpose it in an MP3 file. You can purchase that or get that any way you want. And then ultimately you can have it be sent back to you in an email, an MP3 file that you have as a transposition. That when you play, it not only brings you what's called ecstatic listening. Ecstatic listening. That is actually a term or a phrase in musicology that's associated with another unique term that you probably have experienced once in, or, or more in your life, called frisson, F-R-I-S-S-O-N. And what is that? That's that tingly sensation when you're ecstatically listening and your body goes into goosebumps or horripilations, it's technically called, and you have a, what's called a kundalini rush in Eastern medicine up your spine, and you get shivers and just feel so good. Those endorphins rush through your blood, and suddenly you feel just really energized and happy. So this is what it is that's called ecstatic listening in person, and that is created optimally by 528 hertz frequency. Because what greater source of this good vibration feeling than love? The pure tone. The pure and simple tone of love. That, indeed, is what it's all about. That's the potential that we have as a planet. So here's the great news. When you listen to this, it's not only healing your body. It's not only uplifting your emotions and spirit, bringing you happiness. But you see, because the atmosphere is hydrated, even on a real desert dry day in Las Vegas or elsewhere, in let's say Reno, anywhere in the desert even, you still have water in the atmosphere. And that water is throughout the universe. And that's how the universe, in fact, was created, exactly like the Bible talks about, through the word working in the water, and out pops everything. So as you play, sing, or simply enjoy this music, those vibrations go out, just like a ripples in a pond. When you throw a pebble in the center of a pond and you see circularly the waves move out to the farthest shores, touching every shore, splashing it with that divine juice, that universal solvent, that source of sustenance, water. And that, that means that when you play this music on your computer, it's going out to the farthest shores of the universe touching hearts and opening hearts, because that's what this revelation is all about. For those of you who enjoy Bible study, it's check out Isaiah 22, 22 in the Old Testament and Revelation 3, 6 through 8 in the New Testament, and there you'll find the same prophecy that in these end times, during the history of wars and rumors of wars that the tonight's Republican presidential debate was about, looking at terrorist issues, 
looking at the wars in Afghanistan and how or whether or not we should be funding or having troop withdrawals, et cetera, et cetera. The same old, same old in the political circles, wars, rumors of wars, earth changes, weather changes, all these things that are happening today that are creating a lot of anxiety, including the economic recession. Ultimately, there's got to be a solution. And the solution is in the frequency vibration of love. And it opens hearts. So this is the key. It's the key to the house of David. It's the key that's prophesied to open these doors, these spiritual portals to people's hearts and make people sing with joy and health and happiness and sustainability, reflecting the perfection and universal construction that's all around us. It's self-evident. It's empirically validated by simply you looking at a blade of grass and seeing it's greenish yellow and not purple or black. It specifically chose that frequency as the color of chlorophyll to radiate to you the heart of love from God's heart through the sunshine that we receive and that the air that we breathe that carries that electron resonant energy of divinity, it literally uplifts us, restores us, sustains us, and miraculously heals us. So with that knowledge, boy, I'll tell you, you can solve a lot of problems on the planet, can't you? With understanding that there's no shortage of electrons in the universe, there's no shortage of electrons or even water in the universe, and that's the source of all energy. And we don't need to have nuclear bombs or radiation to be able to harness that power. You know, you look at the works of Royal Raymond Rife and Nikola Tesla and other geniuses, and there's efforts today by many people to harness and advance that kind of alternative power. So that's great news. And yes, indeed, everything from popping magic pills to do anything to your health is ludicrous. So you're looking at a revolution in modern medicine based on the understanding of these revelations that tell us that the Holy Spirit is the, does all the healing, always has, always will. Chemistry works too slowly and inefficiently. Bioenergy, electrogenetics, works instantly. That's why homeopathy works. That's why you can take a little bit of a drop of water under your tongue that has the Avogadro cereal dilution of whatever it was originally that was in it. Let's say you got, uh, for example, let me explain this for a minute. Let's say you've got this poison ivy problem. I know it's not summertime anymore, folks, out there. It's getting, starting to get cold now. But you remember poison ivy in the summertime. Well, if you take rust tox and you put that into a bottle of water and then you cereal dilute it, take one drop out of that one bottle and then put it into the next bottle, let's say another quarter or another gallon, the same amount, and you do, do that 36 times, that's the Avogadro number, ultimately you've got a solution at the very end that has no more poison ivy in it. It's got no more rust tox oils in it. It's simply got an energy frequency vibration of the original substance. And if you take that under your tongue, instantaneously, it delivers that healing energy throughout every single cell of your body. It does that electrically, electromagnetically, through what we talked about earlier, photons and phonons, sound and light signaling. And so when you realize that's very much like a school of fish, you can see a thousand fish swimming along, and all of a sudden, like, they all change directions instantly. There wasn't a chemical message that was sent out. It wasn't even like a, a sonic message that was sent out. One fish didn't say, hey, guys, shift, shift direction here, you know, change, let's move north. No. There is an electromagnetic energy that radiates through that superconductor of sound and light called water. And then they all get it. They get it in every cell of their bodies, and they're all of their bodies. That whole school of fish simply switch, doing the same motion in the same direction. Instantly. Now that's the power that I'm talking about that we can apply for real healing of the populations. That's what we're doing with 528 frequency of sound. So anyway, I want to thank our sponsors, Healthy World Store, Healthy World Affiliates, and Healthy and, and 528radio.com for doing the best work on planet Earth to bring about some semblance of sanity among this hypocrisy that we call federal government. So let's talk a little bit about uh, what's making the news. You've got uh, a couple different things that are very interesting, but I think, you know, it's not as interesting as 528 or healing the planet, but it's, it's interesting from looking at where does the media want your mind to go today? Where is the distraction off of the, uh, the opportunities that we have to restore our planet, our nation's greatness, et cetera? So you're looking at... Uh, Tonight's Republican national security debate between Newt Gingrich, who we're told is the number one Republican presidential uh, candidate now, the leading candidate, 
versus Ron Paul over the issue of the Patriot Act. And Gingrich, who has a reputation of being an ultra-conservative, tells you that he wants to even make the Patriot Act stronger to uh, allay the risks of terrorism. Boy, I'll tell you, that is a very interesting issue. You know, you've got then Ron Paul, who tells you that this whole concept of the Patriot Act in kind of like challenging our capacity to be free as Americans, as we certainly have the opportunity to be once again, as we once were. This whole concept of terrorism, and if you know anything about terrorism, if you've been listening to this and other programs, you know that terrorism is a generated fraud. You know, of course, you've got the terror, and let me give you a little bit of background on the terror beyond what you hear and have heard in the headlines. Read SherryKane.com. She's got a great blog also on many of these issues. You deal with 9-11. You know, the whole concept of 9-11, if you haven't seen the movie Pharma Horse, the Showtime sting of Penn and Teller that Sherry Kane and I did exposing the connections between Big Pharma and the mainstream media and how the media is a mouthpiece for Big Pharma and how the people that run the media and Big Pharma are in kind of like a clique, a, a club, a biotechnology drug trust, a drug ring, an organized crime gang. They operate what's called the partnership for New York City. And you haven't heard that in many other places. In fact, you haven't heard it anywhere, except for on the Inside Hour from Dr. Leonard Horowitz and Sherry Kane. Why might that be? Is there something in that that we reported that is inaccurate? Well, gee whiz, nobody said anything that indicates anything we've written about the partnership for New York City is inaccurate. You can go to pfnyc.org, pfnyc.org, short for Partnership for New York City, and you can see that everything we wrote about this group is accurate. Now, what we did, what Sherry Kane and I did, is looked at where does the money go? Where did the money go from 9-11? The trust that was supposed to be established for the reconstruction of the World Trade Towers went through a couple different groups, including Apollo Investments, to MGM Grand, to the new city center that just so, oh, of course, coincidentally, has a monument in its center with two leaning towers that appear to be falling into rubble called the Veer Towers. And this, according to the evidence, is a monument to the partnership for New York City that veered the money from the reconstruction of that fund for New York and having the monument and the historic uh, rest restoration of the World Trade Towers ended up going to Las Vegas. Now, interestingly enough, nobody, nobody, I mean, it's highly significant, wouldn't you think? I mean, it's outrageously significant. The Partnership for New York City was the specific exclusive organization that was required to determine what the financial losses were associated with the terrorist attacks on 9-11. This was the organization that then was to do something about the reconstruction. So it's not an insignificant issue. You would think that there might be one or two other talk show hosts or journalists out there who might pick up the idea and run with it. But no. It's kind of like we drop that truth out in the world, and it's kind of like falls off, you know, a ledge. It just disappears. Where? What happened? And, and, you know, this concept that we've got a Republican contender named Ron Paul who has pretty much the hearts and souls of the patriot community, of the alternative thinking community, of the Libertarian Party, who are saying, go for it, Ron. Great. It's great to have you represent us. And that truth that you speak, it's so important, and yet it falls shy of these kinds of issues, doesn't it? It falls shy. And, you know, the, the concept and the explanation, and it's a, a sick and sad rationale, but albeit it is omnipresent, is that, oh, they can't say things like that because they won't get voted into office. But then when you vote them into office, they still don't say anything about this kind of stuff. They still don't do anything about this kind of stuff. And so it enters into the concept of controlled opposition and division, in this case between Gingrich and Paul, between right-wing conservative and left-wing conservative. And, of course, that doesn't even speak to the liberals and the, Repo and the Democratic Party, of course, that probably would – bring up a whole other series of issues in this regard. But again, the debates are fruitless. They're worthless. And you out there are tiring of it. But you know what? That's also by design. In fact, if you read the Protocols for the Elders of Science, 
released in the 1700s, not the newer version released in the 1930s that helped Hitler fuel ideologically his National Socialism, his Nazi party, and the whole ideology that to hate Jews and that the Jews would be the scapegoats for the creation of a Holocaust and a great world war. But if you go back and look at the origins of that leaked document called the Protocols of the Elders of Zion, associated with the Rothschild family, which is the Red Shield, the German, the Anglo-Saxon, the origins of even English, go back into the 1500s, late 1400s, where the creation of the English language occurs, and you see that there were specific bloodlines that had to do with this, and there was obviously a royalty that had to do with this, and the royalty had the power over the money and the politics of the day and age that they attended. This is now, fast forward to today, where you still see the power is being expressed in the way that the media manipulates the mass mind through creating divisions, through creating these false divisions between right-wing medium and right-wing hot, and or Democrat versus Republican, male versus female, gay versus straight, Christian versus Muslim. Gee whiz, we've been divided like sheeple, and that's how they've conquered our flock. The opportunity exists for us to come together. That's what the 528 Love Revolution is about, because it's a one frequency that ultimately uplifts us, and that, this, you know, that spiritually, and that ultimately can express that spiritual blessing of love, of sustainability, of clarity versus deception, politically. So that's the opportunity. And you start with yourself, and you start with your friends. And you start with your family or extended family and expressing and attracting those people that share this vision and this mission, which is not just the prophecy. It is the destiny. It is the destiny to come out of this hypocrisy. It's our destiny to have a thousand years of world peace. It's our destiny to no longer fall victim to the slavery and the craziness that these media programs program us into believing in the culture of American politics. So at any rate, that's uh, so much my two cents for the, the Patriot Act and tonight's Republican sparring operation, which was a mind control. It's basically uh, MK Ultra and that concept of controlled opposition. Again, that's like Ron Paul is a good example in this case. You know, I'm uh, very, very few. I haven't heard too many talk show hosts talking badly about Ron Paul. For all I know, he's a nice guy. I went to his office in Washington when I brought him my book, Emerging Viruses, AIDS, and Ebola. I signed a copy. I was all excited. I was young and naive at the time. That was back in 1996. I, I went to Washington. I wanted to visit my Rutgers University college roommate, Robert Torricelli. Torricelli, he's known as, and basically he was Senator Torricelli from New Jersey, from the great state of New Jersey. And that was my college roommate. I figured he'd have an ear for the truth about where AIDS came from. The laboratories of Litton Bionetics, collaborating with the Merck Pharmaceutical Company, delivering AIDS to hepatitis B vaccines to give, given to gay men in New York City and blacks in Central Africa. I figured these guys would do something. And one was my college roommate, one of my best friends in college. And then Ron Paul, he's a doctor. He's a medical doctor, for goodness sake. He's completely libertarian, he claims. He's going to be in opposition to the system. The system's bringing us genocide. These are the contaminated vaccinations and the destruction of AIDS. I figured, oh, man, Ron Paul is the guy. i got to stop by his office. And indeed, I did. And I was met by a deaf ear. So at any rate, that's, uh, that's the story. And there's not a lot of folks out there that are telling these kinds of stories. And what you're getting mostly when you're getting the alternative, quote-unquote, perspective is you're getting controlled opposition as per the protocols of the elders of Zion. Those protocols said that in these times they would completely control the media and they would control the mass mind through the generation of these controlled oppositions, and that's what we're dealing with. It's pure and simple. So the reality is you can break free of that by, number one, diagnosing, seeing through. In order to treat in medicine, you've got to, number one, diagnose. You've got to see through. Diagnosis means knowledge through, seeing through to the root cause of the disorder, and then you can do something about it. Well, this is now the diagnosis that we've rendered as to where our beliefs leave being. But now you've got to question everything. What are we giving when we're giving vaccinations to our children? What are we getting when we're giving guns to our soldiers? What are we getting when we're giving propaganda to hate and divide populations and create terror? That's the concept of the culture that I'm trying to bring tonight, tonight's Inside Hour, to your attention. Now, there's sick, sick news, sadly, coming out of, again, the Fukushima disaster. 
you've got radiation problems up the yin yang happening that was being reported and also there's another story that's crossed my desk in the last 24 hours there's been 10 whistleblowers involved in the british petroleum transocean and halliburton i won't say uh accident i will say intentional destruction demolition job that polluted the gulf and then through correxit brought poison to all the gulf coast residents these folks are mysteriously dying. There's 10 linked deaths, mysterious deaths, of experts and or workers who were involved in the BP Halliburton Transocean demolition. And that, again, a great place to start if you haven't engaged the background on why these people are dying and who's behind this. Go to sherrycane.com, and you can look at the links that speak to the articles we've written that link you to the articles that we've written on the BP oil spill. We were on Jesse Ventura's program as featured guests, and uh, the, Sherry had initiated the uh, segment, really, by having them contact Sherry after we published that article, uh, actually the first of a series of articles on it, and then we did the program. They did a fairly good program. They didn't cover the connections to the partnership for New York City, like I mentioned earlier. It could have. We wanted them to. We started to get into it. The producer very quickly censored us and said, you can't talk about Goldman Sachs. You can't talk about the fact that Lloyd Blankbein, CEO of Goldman Sachs, is on the partnership for New York City as co-chair with Rupert Murdoch. You can't talk about the fact that that organization that did the 9-11 uh, terrorist attack destruction that then veered the money was responsible largely for the BP Transocean Halliburton demolition. Can't talk about that, Jesse Ventura's programmers told us. So we neglected that. Of course, you know, we were being kind guests, you know, as an honorable guest, but we were saddened by that censorship. And this, again, deals with what we're witnessing today. You know, it reminds me of, again, I have not heard from the folks who pledged to me. And I must keep the names confidential, but I was pledged that I would be receiving a report from the toxicology laboratory for the analysis of my good friend Dr. Fred Bell's assassination, apparent. It is likely that my colleague, as he left Jesse Ventura's interview on the subject of how to protect human beings from electromagnetic frequency radiation from space-based weaponry and more, that Fred was killed. He was murdered. And... There's a lot of loose ends, and we've been asking for the receipt of the toxicology lab report to see if there was any chemical malice, and uh, we have not received that yet. So for those of you who are listening, if you are party to that information and wish to share it with Sherry Kane and myself, we're very interested, and we wish to pass that on to our subscribers of Healthy World News Letter.com. You can go get on our newsletter, by the way, if you haven't, at HealthyWorldStore.com. Sign up for Healthy World News, and uh, we will be sending out a new newsletter soon, so please do avail yourself to that free subscription. And so this is a, an interesting story that's, uh, that concerns me, but again, people ask me all the time, aren't you afraid they're going to kill you? And, uh, you know, frankly, that would be very stupid for them to do, to martyr me, because, again, that just makes my 17 books bigger bestsellers. I've got three national bestsellers already. They're going to make it more uh, clear that maybe there's something that Horowitz had to say that was valid if they attempt to assassinate me. And uh, frankly, the same thing with Sherry Kane. It's, it's uh, not likely. The other thing that you've got to think about is what I've been telling you. There would be a time, and that time is now, whereby the mass media would instill into the population a disgust for their politicians and an aversion to government and political protocol as usual, that they would then clamor, the word was, quote, clamor, end quote, to do away with governments from independent nation states, to advance one world government. And that's what we're witnessing. That is the only thing that explains this hypocrisy that we call politics as usual, and that looking at the way that the globalists, particularly at Goldman Sachs, have engineered the recession of not just America, but the world's economy. Very few nations, I believe, are, are doing adequately at this point. I think Germany is one of them. That's not that interesting, the source of the protocols for the elders of Zion. The Rothschild family uh, was based in Germany, and they're doing okay. That country is doing adequately. And then uh, China, I understand, is uh, suffering 
to some extent, but nothing, nothing like what is happening here in the United States. As we, our politicians, sent all of our orders overseas, we lost our manufacturing capability, and that is a sick tragedy that was an imposition upon our great nation, and that has got to change. We have got to use the new revelations and the new technologies to advance this global healing, and that is what America, I believe, its foundation is established for. I believe that that is our divine destiny, and I believe that that is our greatest hope for the planet. And that's actually why I'm in Hawaii. If you really look at what it is that we've been up, up to in Hawaii and why it is that we've been uh, battling. On, uh, since 2004, we've been in battle with a component of the Illuminati. I kid you not. I mean, I could take you on a tour of this property, and I could show you things that would make your head spin. The natural wonders are amazing, but the links to the Illuminati that we've captured, one of the most valuable Illuminati strongholds, spiritual centers. You know that, for example, all of the great churches are based on energy vortices. All the Masonic temples are based on energy vortices. There are specific ley lines on this planet that facilitate spiritual uh, empowerment, if you will. And so that is where we're sitting right now. Actually, I'm broadcasting right now from one of those places. And you would not believe. In fact, you can go on to paulsullafraud.com and get a, a gist of what we're dealing with. Paul Sulla Fraud. Dot com. Paul Sulla is an ex-Massachusetts attorney who located, translocated over here to Hawaii, integrated himself into the marijuana and ayahuasca drug culture as a leader of that drug culture. And, of course, now you've got infiltrations and you've got suspicions that Mr. Sulla is part of a CIA operation and COINTELPRO for controlled opposition. Again, suspicions. You know, we, we suspect that strongly because that would be the only thing that would account for the multiple criminal violations and offenses that he has perpetrated in attacking us, attacking yours truly, to devastate us financially, to challenge our ministry, to challenge the great work that we're doing in the world here locally in Hawaii. But we're here in Hawaii because there's a very most profound prophecy. It states that there shall not be peace on earth until the reconstruction of the ancient Hawaiian temple. And there are probably many places on this island, on the big island of Hawaii I'm speaking about, that are perfect for the reconstruction of a spectacular spirit-filled temple. But I believe, based on what I've shared with you thus far, that I'm sitting on the property that has the greatest opportunity for that reality to manifest. And we've been blessed by having a half a dozen, literally six kahunas, independently walk onto this property without having any instruction whatsoever from me, walking directly to the place where I thought in my heart would be the best place for the construction of that temple, and they all went into a virtual trance, started praying, started chanting, started meditating, and then came away and came to me and said, wow, that's a powerful, spirit-filled place. And I said, you know, that's where I have envisioned there would be the great temple to fulfill the ancient Hawaiian, which is actually part of the ancient Hebrew tribes, the ancient great ancient Hawaiian. Because again, to think about this, folks, yod heh vav the name of the Creator, Yahovah, backwards, spells, says, Hawaii. Hawaii is a Hebrew phrase, literally translated. It means Isle of Eve. The island is land, the land of being in the middle of the water, in the middle of the most beautiful, spectacular water body on the, on the face of planet Earth, the Pacific Ocean. This is where I'm broadcasting tonight, by the grace of the Creator. I'm very, very blessed and thankful for all the blessings that we have. Despite the challenges, I think it's a great philosophy to have always praise and understanding of how incredibly blessed we are, despite the fact that there may not be everything operating that we, the way that we think it should be. But what a wonderful technology it is to give your problem over to the creator and say, it's your problem. If I'm working for you, you're my boss. It's your problem. It's not mine. Solve it and have it be miraculously solved. I'm not into crystal balls, and you don't need crystal balls if you have faith. You have faith, and that's always what it's about, a test of faith as to whether we can sustain ourselves through this attack, multiple attack, ongoing attacks against our capacity to even be here. In fact, to bring you the latest news, I was at, a, and part of why I'm bringing it up tonight is because I was actually at a eviction complaint hearing yesterday in court, and we are currently, as a ministry, under eviction notice and in court 
to battle an eviction complaint, which is based on complete fraud, totally frivolous, vexatious, harassing, as well as criminal, extortionate, involving money laundering, these guys are, involving shady dealings with another church that they've been attacking us with. Just, you wouldn't believe what we're dealing with here. But the fact of the matter is that the vision and the prophecy to have it be fulfilled is very, very valid, and it's very, very real. And so certainly your prayers are invited and welcome. I ask for your prayers for protection and coverage, but also the understanding of how important it is for your, in your own life to use prayer and have faith in the power of the Creator to manifest everything as it is in heaven, so be it on earth. There is a perfection. In Hawaiian, it's called this concept of righteousness and this pono of righteousness, this manner in which the Creator has laid everything out to be right standing. And, of course, we've talked on this program about that being a musical mathematical matrix of creation, how one and one is always two, and two and two is four, and math doesn't lie, and the Creator doesn't lie, and the creative technology is righteous and powerful. And so the destiny has been written, and the evolution into the thousand years of world peace that's calling for an ancient Hawaiian temple is unfolding, even as we're broadcasting tonight. And so that's, a, that's really a, a wonderful thing to keep in mind. You know, it's like we're living in the most fascinating and challenging times, and there's one key technology that you need to have completely mastered in order to be the masters that you are as the brothers and sisters of the Messiah Yeshua. You are the masters of love. You are the masters of divine consciousness. You are in the divine family. And so be it. Express it. Celebrate it with lots of faith and prayer. And that prayer power, by the way, let me just give you a little commercial. We've had so many wonderful blessings about uh, oxysilver being resonating in 528. Again, power of water and oxygen for healing is amazing. And that little silver bullet, if you will, for pathogens and microbial and viral infections and yeast and getting over all sorts of hard-to-treat infectious disease problems. We've heard so many wonderful testimonials about oxysilver. And it vibrates as a good holy water with this 528 hertz resonant frequency. And again, that solution, that incredible solvent, is something that you should think about. There's now entering into flu season, and I know the holidays, because uh, starting with what we just went through, this uh, satanic sorcery event called Halloween, whereby children are given probably the most, one of the most toxic substances on Earth, sugar. White processed sugar is so debilitating. It just blows you out. I mean, I, I slipped the other day, folks. I have to sh share a story. I, I mean, I haven't had a cup of coffee, honestly, in about eight months. I'm pretty good. I'm not, you know, I sin in that way every once in a while. And, you know, you're supposed to be following, I think, uh, everything in moderation, the concept of everything in moderation. But I'll tell you, I was rushing around part of the, the court hearing stuff, and I didn't have breakfast, and I was kind of hungry. And I went into uh, the local market, and I got myself one-third. Now, this is what I made for myself, and I'll never do it again. <laughs> One-third cup of uh, local Kona coffee, one-third cup of hot chocolate, and one-third cup of decaffeinated vanilla coffee. And I went out, and I drank about half of it. And I'll tell you something. I had such an a insulin a challenge. I, my blood sugar spiked. My insulin rose, and then I had this incredible drop. I got this intense headache, and then I was feeling depressed and just lousy for the rest of the day. You know, isn't that perfect? Perfect karma, perfect instant uh, judgment on sin, the concept of polluting my Holy Spirit-filled temple with something I absolutely knew I would be happy with. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's uh, again, think about Halloween and all the children are eating all this junk, and it depletes the immune system, and it creates the opportunity for infectious diseases to grow because it's acidifying all those things, caffeine, nicotine, sugar, stress, alcohol, pharmaceuticals, red meat, those lifestyle risk coupled with now it's cold on the mainland. It's starting to get colder with the change of weather. Now you've got an additional assault against your immune system. And now, that's again why I bring up this concept of oxysilver, the holy water that literally offers a silver hydrosol protection plus a 528 hertz frequency resonance that you can actually use to ad advance, amplify your heartfelt loving intention to stay healthy and well or recover speedily. The way to take oxysilver, folks, and I've got to uh, conclude the program soon, but the way to take this stuff that's guaranteed to keep your health, you healthy or your money back, fantastic gifts for Christmas coming up in the holidays. But the 
way to take it is at the first sign, you know that inkling that you get when you might be coming down with something, that first thought where you might be coming down with something and you better do something about it. If you then at that moment run, get your oxy-silver, take three capfuls with prayer that you stay healthy and that you praise Creator for your health and sustenance, you will see, if you close your eyes, typically, a white glow move through your body instantaneously, like I talked about earlier, about that bioenergetic, instantaneous, dramatic transformation of the energy vibration in your system because the viruses that are taking hold or the germs from the infectious diseases have their own unique energy signature. And when they come into your body, that first inkling that you're getting coming down with something is an energetic symptom. It's an energy manifestation before it starts to really hamper you physically, chemically, before you spike a temperature, before you get anything. You're getting that first hit. Ooh, I feel like my energy has dropped. I am now being under attack by a different energy, and it's not me. And that at that moment, if you take oxy silver with prayer, we guarantee your money back if you come down with anything. That's what we have seen time and time and time again. What a wonderful thing for that to have in your medicine cabinet and have available to you and your children, your loved ones, your elders, who at this time of the year, because of the pollution and the intoxication nutritionally, energetically from the weather changes, because when the weather changes and it gets cold, you get a reduction in the negative air ions. You go inside. You're no longer breathing atmospheric oxygen. You're no longer breathing that ha that carries that electron I spoke about at the beginning of the program. That is what's missing in the winter times, and you need that extra protection, and the best way to get it, number one, go to God. That Holy Spirit, build that Holy Spirit. And now, if you're dealing with the technology of creation and the creators, technology for creation, you understand this is the technology by which we've created OxySilver and a variety of other products in HealthyWorldStore.com as well as the Healthy World Affiliates program. So check out HealthyWorldAffiliates.com, become an affiliate, partner with us, help to spread this freeing truth and this great hope. It's actually called the modern gospel, the good news. The good news is that we have everything we need to sustain ourselves and build a better world. For our children and our children's children, it's important, if not urgent. So with that, let me thank you for listening to the Inside Hour tonight. I pray and ask for your prayers, too, that we'll stay safe, we'll stay healthy, and we'll stay active doing the work that we need to do to serve you and our Creator optimally. Thanks to BBS, we bring you the Inside Hour. Thanks to our sponsors at HealthyWorldStore.com, we bring you not only the healthcare remedies that are at the top of the industry, but also books, tapes, DVDs, and CDs by yours truly that you can become educated as to what's really happening in the world, and particularly health-related, life-saving matters that I think every single one of us really can appreciate, and particularly if we have family and friends who are sick and ailing today and dying today because of their reliance on the medical deities and popping pharmaceuticals that have toxic side effects. If you want to get free from that and give people an opportunity to be healthy naturally, then check out HealthyWorldStore.com. There's fantastic products, and those products are largely the reasons why Sherry Kane and myself have been targeted by the powers that be, the revolving doors between the FDA, the CIA, and Big Pharma on Wall Street are very clear. And they, those folks don't like whistleblowers particularly, and they really loathe Dr. Leonard Horowitz and Sherry Kane. And so we've been harassed, and all sorts of things have happened over the past year to degrade us or defame us and libel us and smear us and do whatever you can do to, to do that. But the fact of the matter is that people know in their hearts what the truth is, and the truth shall set us free, and we're being freed right now from the slavery of the petrochemical pharmaceutical industrialists that bring genocide under the guise of both public health as well as national security, which is the topic for tonight's discussion, national security Republican debate that was aired this evening, and uh, we'll bring that into the discussion tonight. I want to also thank uh, the affiliates, all the affiliates who have joined. Uh, lots of you have joined from the Coast to Coast program that I did with George Norrie uh, several weeks ago. It was a, a very, very interesting program having to do with the vaccination genocide, having to do with Gardasil and the fraud of injecting our young women and even young boys with the Merck Pharmaceutical Company's alleged HPV vaccine, which actually is injecting people with these viruses and viral components as well as various other chemical and heavy metal additives and adjuvants, additives that wreak havoc with the immune system as well as your natural health. And so the opportunity exists also to advance a degree in naturopathic medicine, and that we're doing through the accredited organization for the, by the Canadian College of Humanitarian Medicine as well as through the World Natural Health Organization or World Organization for Natural Medicine. 
And so this is called Healthy World Organization. Healthy World Organization is an organization that we've been evolving because we need alternatives to the genocide. We need alternatives to the drugs. We need alternatives to the ideology that you can pop magic pills to cure every ill. We need alternatives to the secular and the uh, amazingly negligent view that God doesn't work miracles every day in our lives and can be applied with God's technology to do so with our bodies. And so everything from body chemistry, which relies on energy of what's called pH or part hydrogen, to the phenomenon of electrogenetics, where sound and light signals come in and then go out from the DNA through structured water, six-sided hexagonal-shaped rings of water that deliver messages so that cells communicate, just like I'm communicating with you tonight. Your cells in your own body are in constant communication via sound and light signals, and that brings up the whole topic of 528. If you haven't heard of 528, if you're a musician or just an interested scientist, you can check out love528.com. Our sponsor also for tonight is 528records.com and 528radio.com, where you can listen to and transpose on those websites. You can transpose your most beloved music into the frequency of love, into the frequency celebrated by the botanical world, selected by all of botany in the chemistry of what's called chlorophyll, of which the sacred geometry of the molecule, that is uh, primarily the Star of David type of sacred geometry that exists and resonates within the molecular structure of chlorophyll, that gives us air that we breathe, that prompts us up with those electrons that bring energy into your body with every breath. And that's the miracle of 528. You know, NASA recorded the sound of the sun a few years ago. And you can get that. David Sarita gave us a copy of that and shared that with the world. He did that on Coast to Coast and elsewhere. And if you take out a 528 tuning fork that you can purchase at HealthyWorldStore.com, and in fact now we've even got little organ generators that have magnets and coils within it, and the entire structure is resonating in 528. We made sure of that. And if you put and use this properly, you can put your tuning fork right in the center of the organ generator. You can play your tuning fork to this organ generator, and the organ generator is already vibing in 528, and then you can actually put it on top of your body. You're sending, thereby, into areas of pain or distress, you're sending a signal of love, the universal healer. And so this concept of transposing your music to play it and enjoy it in love versus the dissonant frequency that's called standard tuning of A440, which delivers to your body the resonant energy called the devil's interval or the devil's tone. Every time you play a D chord in A440, you strike that 741 pitch, which shocks your heart, stifles your breath, the ha that you breathe, carrying the life of love from the source. And I'm not just talking about the sun. The creator created the universe. You remember back in Genesis 1-1 and 1-2, you had God and the water, and then the words were spoken, and those words, let there be light, resonated like the Holy Spirit into the water, hovered over the face of the water, the Holy Spirit does, in Genesis 1-2 divides the water from the water into which this dome or firmament, this frequency of energy of let there be light resonated, and then out popped the sun. So from God's heart directly to your breath and into your heart, because that's what the heart does, doesn't it? It pumps oxygen. It pumps that Holy Spirit powerful prana, that ha, that breath of life, throughout your body, your Holy Spirit filled temple. <laughs> you know, and what's the name of God? Yod, hey, vav, hey in Hebrew, what does it mean? Jehovah literally translated means to breathe is to exist. 